in the past couple weeks where Sean Gary went on to the Rich Eisen show. And so I want to show you guys a clip of him speaking about his offseason routine, what he's doing now that OTAs and minicamp is over as he prepares for training camp. And then he goes and talks a little bit about Jordan Love, which I found interesting. So uh, here it is. Happy to be back. How you doing? Rich? I'm doing fine. Where have I found you? Where are you right now? I'm in Dallas, Texas training. Okay. Middle of June, training right now to go dominate yep. right now. That's all. That's so, all. That's all it is to say. Dominate. Oh, okay. So what? What? what are, like what? What's part of the domination drill for today, Rashawn? What'd you do today before zooming in to chat? Uh, before today, I had a um, seven a.m. workout. Uh, got back from that because right now I'm in two a day, so you know I'm attacking it hard. So I got my uh, speed, uh, strength. Then I got my position work. So just getting back uh, home a couple hours ago. And uh, now I'm relaxing. I got some feeling to watch, you know, still trying to break down, you know, uh, the mini can day we had in OTAs and trying to find ways to get better. Lunch? Getting lunch, Rashawn? We got a little lunch? What do we got? Uh, Not yet, not yet, but, uh, you know, I'm thinking about something. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to figure out, like, because, again, it's like middle of June here. You could, you know, think about taking a day off, right? I mean, like, that's the, the, the general sense people might have. But that's not how you become great September through February, is it, Rashawn Gary? That's not how you do it. Uh, yeah, not at all, especially uh, being a Green Bay Packer and especially to help my team get us to where we want to be and that's to, you know, hold that Labari trophy. So in, in a... So I, I do wonder when it comes to these NFL players having their off time before they go into training camp in late July, I would imagine some of them are taking vacations, doing things like that. You'd also assume, you know, they're keeping up with their workouts. So I'm not sure how many guys are doing two a days. Maybe most NFL players do that, but uh, you can tell Rashawn Gary, he's still hungry, and I think he's always been, you know, one of the more motivated Packers. You can just tell from his his interviews, just his passion for the game, and so he's putting in those those two a days, watching film, trying to get better, and you know, he's already I think proved what he can do in the NFL, and he continues to you know want to reach that next level, which is awesome to see. In a quiet time, do you envision that sort of stuff? Do you is it is it truly a twenty four seven three sixty five thought process for you, Rashawn? Uh, mo Monday to Friday. Um, if I do unplug, you know, I might give myself a Saturday and Sunday. But around this time of the year, it's really hard to lay off of it because you know it's every day separates you from you know your opponent. And because I know some guys out there today taking some breaks. I'm not one of them. So, you know, that's always going to you know, keep me ahead and keep me sharp. What was it like being around the guys a couple weeks ago? What was that like, Rashawn? Oh, man, uh, great. I love uh, the energy. I love the swagger that, you know, we all have, um, you know, from top to bottom. Um, you know, it's a great feeling. And, um, understanding, um, you know, who we are a little bit more coming into the season and, um, you know, what that we expect for each other. It's great, man, and uh, just the work that we put in through OTAs and through the mini camp is great. And uh, you know, the message that we have for each other just come back one percent better than what we left, and we'd be fine. What, what, so, what part of Texas are you in right now, Rashawn? I'm in Plano, Plano, Texas. Okay, are there a lot of Cowboy fans around there in Plano, Texas? Yeah, I might be in the heart of it. Okay, that's what I was wondering. What's it like being a Green Bay Packer walking around the heart of Cowboy Country? What's that like? Uh, I can't complain. Can't complain. <laughs> quiet. This if I say it's quiet this season. You know. You know well, who quieted really, them? Man. Who quieted them, Rashawn? Who were the ones who quieted them? I don't know. You tell me, Rich. The Green Bay Packers. You know, that's old stuff. Though. That's not old. So Rashawn Gary's currently in Dallas, which is actually where I live. And it. I mean, the the day that game happened. For those of you who've been watching my channel since then, you know, I was there, got to witness it, and. Um, you know, I see Packers fans from time to time out wearing their stuff. Not, not a ton, but, uh, you know, Cowboys fans, I'd say a lot of them right now are pretty disheartened from the way the season ended. And, uh, um, you know, I haven't heard as much optimism from, from them as I have in times past, uh, but Rashawn Gary choosing to, to work out where the Packers, you know, dismantle the Cowboys in the playoffs. Old stuff, because if you think <laughs> about it, the way that the Cowboys have reacted to you, you quieting you their a season. Cowboy fan. No, that he is, must be a cowboy. Yeah, TJ, do you want to introduce yourself? To... <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to this next part where he uh, talks about Jordan Love, and I found it pretty interesting. So let me get to the right uh, mark, and here we go. I'll take care of all that stuff. So uh, how has Jordan Love shown up this season that's different than the previous one, Rashawn? Man, um, 
it's crazy because last year he took control, um, you know, from day one of offseason OTAs. And, you know, he started off right off the same foot, the same way, uh, bringing it up, breaking it down and, you know, talking about the standard and what it needs to be. And I just love, I just love it, man. He's laid back and, you know, he's a guy you could talk to, man. I'm talking about from seven teams, defense to offense, man. All guys, you know, believe in him and you can have a conversation with him. I'm talking about any time at lunch table, um, you know, if you have any questions, you can sit down and talk to him, man. Talk to a guy and those type of guys that may go to war and play for. Could you give me an example of what you do talk with him about, if you don't mind me prying, Rashawn? Yeah, uh, you know, with me and Jory, you know, we have a different relationship, man. I just talk about being great with him because I understand, you know, how it was coming in year one, you know, to where it is now. And, uh, you know, he probably ain't scared to say it, but people haven't seen nothing yet. You know, the things that he's been doing in camp, that y'all can't see the practice tape that, you know, y'all can't see the throws that he's doing and how he's putting on the money. Man, it's ridiculous right now. And, you know, I just can't wait to the season so he can display it. But he's he's in store for a hell of a season for us. So, so Rashawn's saying that for Jordan, people haven't seen nothing yet based on what he's seen at training camp. Now, that's a, that's a great sign. I know that I expect him to be just as good as he was last year. And... You know, I know there's talk about, well, maybe defenses, because they have the Jordan Love film, they're going to figure him out, and he's not going to have as good of a second year. And okay, it's, it's technically possible. At the same time, Jordan Love has an entire first year to look at and, and find areas to improve and get better. So I think that we can't, you know, necessarily even take out the, the potential of Jordan Love being even better, working on things that he felt like he maybe needed to improve on, you know, this past offseason. And so that's pretty much all I wanted to share. If you guys want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.